How's it YouTube? This video is going to be on how to spray House of Color Cosmic Chrome. It's pretty cool stuff. I wouldn't really call it chrome. It's kind of more of a uh, aluminum effect. Although maybe you can get it to look like chrome. I just haven't gotten that good yet. It all comes down to experience I guess. This is the first time I've tried it. But I was pretty impressed with it I gotta say. Pretty interesting stuff. So basically they want you to start off with a two pack black or for best results they say to use a black base coat, clear it, buff it, polish it and spray it over that. Now you want to do that all within the 24 hour time period before you lose that chemical adhesion that you would essentially lose if you were to cut and polish it and then wait longer than 24 hours. So you're probably going to want to use a pretty quick clear. I used um, DBC 3000 on this one. This was PPG. I didn't have to polish it. It was pretty nice. So right now I got my SADA mini jet. Um, this is a 1.0. I had my pressure too high. Uh, I was coming out a little splotchy. Unfortunately, I didn't catch on until <laughs> I was almost out of paint. So um, I couldn't really figure it out. I was finding my settings and trying to figure out why is this coming out so splotchy. But the 1.0 probably would have done just fine. All I had to do is probably crank down my pressure and I would have been good. Uh, you're going to see me switch to my RP mini jet a little while later. Um, basically though, House of Color, uh, they suggest that you um, do light mist coats over it. So basically you don't want to really wet it out. You just want to kind of just dust it on there. So, uh, as you can see, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not good. I'm not really happy with it. I'm still kind of getting the swing of it. So, you know, I do a, I do one coat on the um, mirrors here. And then I'm going to go back to the grill. But you'll notice the mirrors come out better because... Uh, Basically, less I noticed is more with this product. So the black underneath is going to give you that really high gloss finish. So, uh, yeah, basically, I'm my pressure is way too high right now. I wasn't running a gauge, but I'd say you want to probably be around like 15, 17 pounds tops. I mean, a mini jet, you know, it's kind of hard to tell. It just sounds much higher than it is anyway. So, you know, I'm going through it, trying to figure out what the hell's going wrong. I should have caught on way earlier, but I didn't, like I said. Now, everything, you want to keep it dust-free, of course. You saw me tack it off in the beginning. Um, and, yeah, so I'm going to go and refill my same old cup with... Uh, some more of the Cosmic Chrome, which is very expensive, by the way. Uh, out here in Hawaii, it costs about $150 for a little 8-ounce bottle. Yeah, uh, that one right there, that bottle right there is 130 bucks. So it does take some getting used to. Uh, you know, I, I tried to find videos on it. I really couldn't find many. So I decided I'd make one just to try and help whoever's, uh, trying to get this done or achieve this look, um, give them a hand and give them some help. So my recommendation would be to take a mini jet. If you have one, uh, use low pressure fan wide open, uh, stay about eight to 10 inches maybe from the panel. Maybe yeah, I can get a little closer. I mean, maybe six to 10, uh, depending on how your gun sprays and how you and your own style are. But 
um, yeah, you're gonna wanna just basically just mist it on. Less is more uh, with this stuff. So you're gonna notice the grill comes out a whole lot uglier than the uh, mirrors. The mirrors have way much, uh, way much more effect to them. I should say way more effect to them. Um, but yeah, so just, you know, continue on dusting your cosmic chrome and uh, just wait for flash in between. Basically, you can tell when it's flashed off when it turns from hazy to shiny. So now I finally figured it out. Okay. Gun, wrong. Setup, wrong. Now I've got my RP. 1.2, but I've got like no color left. So I'm gonna try and even out the main grill and uh, then I'm gonna try and get to the mirrors. But yes, again, everything's flashed off. Don't tack it either. Do not touch this stuff. It will track, it is super sensitive. So you're gonna just basically hit it as many times as you want until you get the desired effect. Now, like I said, less is more, I noticed. So if I was to do this again, I probably would just start with the 1.2 and probably would have used half as much and ended up with a way better result. Um, in my opinion, I'm still pleased with the product. It's, it's it, it does what it says it's supposed to do if you use it properly. And, um, you know... It was a learning experience. It was fun. It was expensive, but it was fun. So, you know, just, just take your time. Read the instructions thoroughly. Make sure you've got a nice glossy black substrate to start with that is clean and free of dust because anything will show right through this stuff. It's insane. Okay, so... Um, that's pretty much it for this section of the video. I'm going to show you guys a short, really junk version. I'm sorry about the quality. Hang on. So this is the finished product. Actually looks pretty cool. For some reason, the video came out in like the lowest definition possible. But you can't really tell. The mirrors are much more chrome than the rest of, uh, than the grill. Um... Really cool effect, House of Color, Cosmic Chrome. Hit me up if you have any questions. If not, you guys take care and have a good night.